yet another clean sheet, five wins in a row. It's the exact type of match I was expecting off the back of the international break. It just shows the kind of character that we're building, developing in this team. It just shows the winning mentality, the champion mentality that we are creating in this team. And it shows that something special is happening in this football club. Hey guys, welcome back to the other side of the coin. What a nice victory, to be honest. Not the greatest performance from us, but it, it's the kind of match that you sort of expect off the back of the international break. And it's so good to come out with the three points, which was so crucial. You know, now we are, we are about to face Ren in the uh, Champions League and then Tottenham uh, the next week in the Premier League. So it's per it sets up perfectly, sets up the mood perfectly for the team. So guys, let's get in on this match review of Newcastle versus Chelsea. But before we get into that, guys, I want to take this opportunity and ask each and every one of you guys, please smash that like button. Take that opportunity right now and hit that like button. Helps the channel out a lot, helps me out a lot. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe. I see a lot of people that come in watch my video but they don't subscribe please subscribe hit that subscribe button and uh if, you know hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content so guys let's get straight into this first of all you know the way i want to do this particular review of the match is i want to take you through a storyline look into the lineup a little bit not spend too much time on that give a summary of the match of how i saw the match and then really talk about the different facets of our, of our game, you know, from defense to midfield to attack. And then really talk about Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner because they, they were the two stars of the particular match. Yes, Ingola Kante had a great game, which I'll touch on as well. But yeah, that, that's exactly how I want to do that, uh, do this particular preview. So first of all, the lineup. Guys, if you've seen my preview video, that's the exact lineup that I expected and predicted that we're going to put, you know, Mendy in goal in the, in the defense. We've got Reese James. Uh, Rudiger, Zuma, Chilwell, that's exactly what I've sort of expected. Yes, a lot of people were hoping for Tomori, but guys, look, it is what it is. Frank Lampard favours Rudiger at the moment. And to be honest, he hasn't put a foot wrong st this season, uh, in, in my opinion. The little time that he's got to play for us, he's acted as a great backup for Thiago Silva. So this is going to be quite crucial because Silva's not going to be able to play every match and we're going to need someone like Rudiger or whoever else fills in to, to continue on with the good work and, and not have those laps of concentration. In the uh, holding midfield position, we had Kante. He had a phenomenal match. And then in the flanks, uh, the two attacking eights, we had Kovacic and Mason Mount. Up front, Ziyech, Timo, uh, Timo Werner and Tammy Abraham. And that was pretty much what I expect. A lot of people sort of thought that Callum Antonio would get an opportunity, but I always had a feeling that Frank would favour the uh, you know, experience of Timo Werner. And that's exactly what happened. So that's a little bit about the lineup. I thought personally that was the most perfect lineup that we could go with, um, regardless of other sort of opinions around Tomori and Callum Antonio. So that's a little bit about the lineup. Now a bit about the match, a summary about the match. Guys, I honestly thought throughout the match, Newcastle did not pose us any threat. The only threat they ever got to us was due to unforced errors from us, missed time passes that then they turned and, and counter-attacked us. But besides that, I don't think they had the quality at all throughout the match to open us up. We were solid in defense. Um, you know, Mendy was solid whenever he was called upon. He didn't have to you know, make too many huge saves. But you know, the, the right back and the left, uh, left back for us was fantastic going forward and going backwards. Both sides, Reese James and Chilwell, were brilliant. And we pressed well. We, we, we were great with the possession. Uh, of course, we, we played very high up and completely controlled the match and they were sitting deep. Uh, and we were still opening them up. We should have scored a lot more goals. So we had quite a few clear-cut chances in the first half. Ziyech put in a nice inverted cross for Tammy Abraham and his header was straight to the keeper. That, I felt, should have gone either side and it would have been a goal. Uh, Timo Werner had a couple of chances as well. Uh, I feel like mentally he was a bit fatigued, which we'll touch on about both Tammy and Timo Werner. But yeah, in possession, we were fantastic. When we lost the ball, we pressed hard and we won the ball back quickly. So that was great to see as well that the intensity of our match was brilliant. So overall, guys, it was the kind of match that we, we were tired. You can see that we were tired because we did not have enough time to prepare. We did not have enough rest time. And you can see the players tiring. But at the same time, we grinded out a win. You know, 2-0 victory. Fantastic three points. Uh, as I said, it just sets us up nicely now for, for, for the upcoming matches. So overall, guys, I'm really happy with it. I know there's quite a few fans out there that are not satisfied with that performance. But to be honest, you guys, 
we need to give these players a bit of a leeway because they, 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 they're human beings at the end of the day and they're not machines. They did not have enough rest in this game and they still produced the kind of game that we, we, we got uh, from them yesterday and we still got the three points. So that's a little bit about the match in itself, guys. I think we had total control of that match. Newcastle had nothing in a particular ground that we generally struggle and we came out with three points. So now, guys, I want to talk about a little bit about the defense, midfield and uh, the striker, specifically Tammy and Werner. So first of all, defense, guys, as, as I've already mentioned, it's been quite rock solid. Now, and I want to touch on Rudiger. Zuma has been fantastic. We know that his combination with Silva has been great. And we also know Reese James and Chilwell, they've been dynamic going forward and backwards um, in, in defense and in attack. They, they support so much going forward and they support heaps. But Rudiger, guys, I want to take this opportunity and really praise this particular player because, you know, I've been harsh on Rudiger. And I know a lot of fans out there have been harsh on Rudiger. And rightly so, because he's been mistake prone last season but this season wherever he's got that opportunity the very little opportunity that he's got he's coming in he's done a really good job and i feel like we need to take the opportunity to praise him and and you know just the way we bash him we need to take the opportunity to praise him uh because at the end of the day he represents us as fans and he represents the football club so we need to cheer him on and uh continue so that he continues these sort of performances because silver is not going to be available every single game and we need someone whoever comes in to, to keep producing, uh, you know, uh, the kind of level that, that we've been doing so far. You know, the, the, it's it's no secret that we've, you know, we've kept a clean sheet again, five wins in a row. It's happening because everyone is in sync. Every player is in sync. So we need to continue that. So defensively, we were great. In the middle, Kante, guys. Kante was superb for me. There was a lot of complaints, few, uh, you know, fans on social media, in, in Twitter specifically, I've noticed that, you know, they were complaining about Kante, how he was not, you know, missed time passes, this, that. But guys, his role is not to have those threaded passes. His role to go sideways, defend the, uh, protect the centre backs, you know, uh, destroy the opposition attack. And that. he did that absolutely well. Key interceptions. For me, he was very, very close to man of the match. I'd probably give it to either Timo Werner or Tammy. I know Timo Werner, even though with the mistakes, I think he still had a very, very good uh, impact in the game. Tammy, uh, very uh, sensational with the goal and also his total involvement. So, you know, the man of the match is very difficult in a particular match where, you know, it was it was a tired sort of match from us. So, look, Kante very well could have been a man of the match. So, you know, kudos to him. And the flanks of Mason Mount and Kovacic. Mason Mount was involved in that first goal where it was an own goal from Newcastle. He was the one who went to the byline, whipped it in. And, and throughout the match, he had some really nice passes, key passes. You know, he was there hustling, pressing, um, making some really nice passes. Similarly with Kovacic as well. Lots of energy, you know, moving forward, come tracking back as well. So overall, both the flanks for me, the attacking eights played really, really good. And the midfield was solid. Yeah, as I said, we, 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 had, we had great possession. And when we lost the possession, we won it back quite quick as well. And it was a lot to do with the midfield. Um, and up front, guys, ZH, even on a subpar day, he could have got away with two assists. You know, I don't think he had the most, you know, the best game or best performance, but it wasn't the worst either. But even then, he would have had at least two assists, both to Timo Werner, who unfortunately missed. But yeah, overall, the forward pack played uh, really well too. Now I want to talk about Timo Werner and um, Tammy Abraham. Guys, this combination, I'm really starting to enjoy quite a lot because... You know, they, they're starting to understand each other. I think they both complement each other with Zor, with Tammy's, you know, hold up is getting better. You know, his nice little intricate passes that Giroud does is getting better. So he's learning a little from Giroud. Uh, and, and Tammy, uh, sorry, and Werner from, from that left side, uh, who's, who's got that free sort of role to roam around, um, allows for that destructiveness up front. Uh, I'm really thinking when Pulisic is fit, I don't think it's as clear cut as everyone thinks that Tammy's just going to get removed and Timo Werner is going to be in the middle and Pulisic. I think Pulisic will have to, you know, uh, uh, get his position back again because Tammy, honestly, guys, Tammy Abraham, he's been part of so many goal involvement over the last few matches. He's been scoring goals, assisting goals. I think that that, that was his third match in a row where he's scored uh, and he's been assisting as well. And, and his attitude, I really, really like that attitude. That's the kind of attitude that you want to see in the team. And moving back to Timo Werner again, because I think the two misses, the only excuse I can have is that I think he's mentally getting fatigued. He's played so many matches. It's time that he gets a bit of rest, freshens up his mind. Look, his technique is still great. His attitude is still great. That, that power pace that he did to get that goal for Timo Werner, how he just 
burst through the middle, rip through the Newcastle defense and then put the ball through for Tammy. Uh, similarly, he had another opportunity where he won the ball, pressed really hard, won the ball from the Newcastle defender and then he was one-on-one -on -one, and then he passed it where I really think he should have scored um, and then his pass wasn't strong enough to reach Tammy. That should have been a clear goal for us. But look, overall, I think I think he's fatigued mentally uh, and I think a little bit of rest for him will will just rejuvenate him. And there was another opportunity where Hakim Ziyech put the ball through and he was offside, but you know, nonetheless, still he finished it. So look, guys, overall, I'm really enjoying the combination of Tammy and uh, Timo Werner. For me, they were really, really standout players in that match along with N'Golo Kante. And um, you know, I wanna see this particular partnership continue on. Now they get a little bit of rest, about three days rest before we play Ren. Um, you know, yes, we would like to see Kalamantan Odoi, but I think I would want to see this continue until we can have Pulisic and everyone back. And perhaps then, you know, once ho hopefully Kai Havetz, when he's back, Timo Werner can take a bit of rest. So, guys, that's that's a little bit about the whole match. Overall, guys, I'm so happy. You know, we've got the three points, as I said, on a very, very difficult day where we were tired off the back of the international um, uh, uh, matches. But... And I think we are definite title contenders, guys. Well, Spurs next. Spurs won against Man City. It's a big, big win for them. So they're in a bit of a juggernaut as well. But, you know, this will be a fantastic clash between us and, um, you know, Tottenham Hotspurs and, you know, Mourinho as well with, with Frank Lampard. Lampard's got the number on Mourinho at the moment with two wins. Uh, but obviously, you know, they played earlier this season. We played earlier this season and they went through in the uh, EFL Cup, um, the League Cup. And, and uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a fantastic uh, match to see, you know, top of the ladder sort of situation. We were, we were first for just a few minutes uh, in the table when we won, but... You know, Spurs are now uh, on top of the table. Obviously, Liverpool's got the game to come. But yeah, it sets us up nicely for next weekend. And uh, yeah, I truly think we're title contenders. And uh, I'm pretty sure the team is starting to believe this as well. And hopefully we can continue on like this. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. How do you think of the match? You know, what do you think about the lineup? What do you think about an overall game? And um, yeah, leave your thoughts below. Let's have a good conversation. And until next time, see ya.